Thank you for joining us live on KEXP. I'm Cheryl Waters down here in the KEXP studios, supported for by our listeners here at KEXP.org. We are so very, very proud to be listener powered, and I am so excited to welcome this artist, Nilifer Yanya. Thank you for coming today. Hey, Cheryl. Thanks for having us. Last show. Yes, last well, show of the whole tour. That's amazing. Well, I want to talk about how that tour has been going and the new record, Painless, but I can't wait to hear these new songs live on KEXP. It's Nilifer Yanya. Thank you. Back in a sense, and this is all I'm meant to feel. Could find myself a better deal, so maybe a better time. This oh, better hope goes wrong. Step by the side, 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 do it to drop around. And now when it's not okay, can't keep. My head down, don't lie And never not in black Feeling bad, no not the same Blood and bones beneath my skin the Feelings that we can't compare Taking chances anywhere So maybe A better time this Oh, it drowns you Love is raised by common fears Hunting diamonds up their sleeves Always I did it know Never felt so sure In my best machine In my midnight soul Always I did it for you
feel I for you are someone to lie It's not like you to say Sad to speak you to the bone Call somebody since nobody stays I might end up here all along In this mad rush I need some time to work out Yeah, the new album Painless came out earlier this year on ATO Records and they are wrapping up their U.S. tour and so delighted that the final stop is here in the KEXP studio. Such a big fan of this new record. I think you're going to play one of my favorite tracks on the record next. Nights 
from now Oh, haunted, it's not your turn My words don't twist Now he words don't twist Left, right, left, right Just another thing before you go Left, right, left, right There has to be someone to say it So can't fight this tight Break it up, whatever makes you happy Don't think I'll ever know So take me out to the beach Take off all your clothes Whatever makes you happy
Nodal Friyanya live here in the KEXP studios, all four of those songs from the new album, Painless. I am so excited. That sounded great. This Thank is you. the third time I've seen you play live with the band in less than a month. And <laughs> I feel like we could just do it every week for the rest of the year and I'd be so happy. Oh. The show last uh, on Saturday night was amazing here in Seattle. The crowd was going nuts and it looked like you were all having fun. Beth was just like, beaming from ear to ear the entire <laughs> show. But what's it been like to be back out on the road and having had this tour? Um, it's been great. Yeah, we've had so many um, like amazing crowds and amazing shows, I think. Um, yeah, Seattle was one of them. New York was one of them. Um, yeah, it's also been quite testing, I think, like with COVID and the way touring works these days, it's quite different to how we left it in like 2019 but it's it's been really good to be to be back <laughs> i bet you have a lot of different emotions being out on the road of course f being you know locked down for a period of time that was quite extended and being able to be back out but then also sort of navigating these new waters of safety and you want to of course make sure that your own health is good yeah. if you're going to be out touring every night does that get in your head at all um yeah a bit yeah definitely um Ellis got COVID like halfway through, <laughs> um, so did my sister. So yeah, it can, it, when you when it happens, it kind of throws you off balance a bit and you're like, oh, what's going on? But when you're in the swing of things, that kind of does feel like nothing ever changed, nothing ever stopped, which is cool. Well, I mentioned when you started to play Left Right that that was one of my favorite songs on the album. And it's kind of funny because at the live show, I would turn to my friend every time you started a song. I'm like, this is my favorite. <laughs> and after about 10 songs, she turned to me and said, I'm not actually sure you know the definition of the word <laughs> favorite. But suffice it to say, this entire record is phenomenal. And I understand that you had gone through a period of not being able to write for a while, maybe as much as a year. And mm. then all of this started flowing out of you. And unlike in the past where I had read in the past that you kind of spent time rewriting songs, you just kind of let this flow and went with sort of your initial song. And I'm interested to know about that shift. Yeah, so I wrote a lot of this new record with Wilma Archer, uh, my friend and producer. So when we were writing together, it kind of, took me out of that headspace of thinking, oh, this isn't like a good idea or this isn't good enough. Um, so it was a lot easier to kind of get things going again. Yeah. What was the experience like co-writing with someone? Because that's um, kind of new for you, isn't it? Well, it's kind of new, but we've been working together for on the last record as well. So it was kind of like a relationship that is being built up and like there's a lot of like trust in there. So um, yeah. I would say like trust is pretty important. And it's clear that you trust this amazing band. Yes. I mean, the energy between you and the emotional connection comes out in the live sets completely. That's good, that's good to know. <laughs> I think the production on this record is so amazing. It sucked me in completely. And it's fun that it's different than your last record mm -hmm. where you had sort of those little interstitials and skits and yes. it was around a theme. Tell me about kind of embarking on this story and the songs are very personal um mm. although that can be said for all songs yeah. i suppose <laughs> but tell me what your headspace was around creating this record and what you wanted to do specifically in the studio with the sound um what was my headspace i was i was thinking it would be nice to kind of make it like more like settled on or have like more of like a sonic um world that it lives in um, and more of like a cohesive sound, which is what something I wanted to achieve. Because when I listened back to the first record, I was like, oh, it's all like very different. <laughs> and it kind of sounded like lots of different things being put together. So I really wanted to make this record sound more, more like a record, I guess. Um, yeah, but I didn't really think about it too much before starting. But yeah just happened naturally. I imagine yeah. working with someone, as you said, that you trust, that also yeah, helps. I think because we worked together on a lot more of the music, like maybe like eight songs. So it was like, it created this like natural sound anyways. And then the rest of the record could kind of, yeah, work around that. 
Now that tour is over, what's next for you? I love following your adventures and travels on Instagram, and I've read some interviews that you've done, and in a couple of them you said that you're interested in, you know, maybe trying to live somewhere besides London, which is where you have that. grown up. Is that, um, I'm not trying to hold you <laughs> to that just because it's in print, but is that something you still think about? I know you love to travel. Yeah, I'd love to live somewhere else. Um, uh, I mean, right now I really want to go home, so. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny, funny saying that. that. But yeah, I'd love to live um, anywhere else, to be honest. I feel like you can get kind of, maybe not stuck in your ways, but like really used to things. And I've never kind of actually lived somewhere different apart from London. Like I've traveled, but not lived. And that's like a different thing. When you're on tour, like you don't really get to see places as much as you as you think you might. Yeah. I, whenever I... Uh, a young person in my life, like in their 20s or something, says that they're interested in moving somewhere else. I always say do it because I've traveled a lot as well. But actually, as an adult, I have never picked up and moved to a new mm. city and tried to, you know, even if you have connections there, just kind of start a new life there with all of that um, newness and excitement. And I, I, you know, I have a very rich life. I'm very happy with it. But I feel like that's something um, worth experiencing. And uh, so I encourage you. Thank to go you. out there and do that. Thanks. And so what, you're going to go home and rest, and then what comes for you the rest of the year? You know? um, we've got like a bunch of festivals lined up this summer and more touring um, towards the end of the year, so it'll be busy. <laughs> I had kind of hoped you might show up with those big pink wings. Oh my God. I, I love that <laughs> visual image that you do that in a lot of, you sport that in a lot of the Painless yeah. um, promo. And I think it's a unique look because it's these beautiful feminine wings and then you've just got, got this masculine hardware. And I'm kind of wondering what the inspiration was behind them and where do those lift now? Um, the inspiration was, it was quite random. Like I was making the artwork for the album and I found these like flamingo wings um, and I stuck them on there. Um, and then I was thinking like, it'd be nice to recreate that as an image, like a real image. Um, so my two friends, Trevia and Jenna, made me a pair for a video and some photos, which was great. Um, and where did they live? Um, I think they're in my wardrobe, like on, on the top at the moment. <laughs> well, they did an excellent job. They're beautiful. They do, yeah. Well, thank you all so much for coming by. It's always such a pleasure to see you and love, love the new album. Thanks for having us, Cheryl. Nula for Yanya, the new album is Painless and you're listening to KEXP. If you'd like to discover more wonderful sessions like this, you can visit our YouTube channel. In fact, if you subscribe to it, you'll get notifications every time we launch something new and wonderful. And we're a listener-powered station, and we want to thank all of our wonderful listeners for supporting us. You can visit kexp.org and find out more about KEXP. And again, thank you for supporting great sessions like this one with Nilfer Yanya live on KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.